I was quite surprised to learn that Cornelius is the Prince of Titania. But who cast the Puka's curse on Cornelius? I'm sorry I brought a stranger. This guy wanted to tag along and just wouldn't take no for an answer. I hope you are well, your majesty. What in the world are the Palia doing? Allowing intruders in this place. Those blockheads are guards. You might as well welcome the grave robbers who come to steal your jewels. You may trick my servants. But your spells do not deceive me, sorcerer. Beautiful queen of night, please reign your anger. I would be even more beautiful if I rouged my face with your blood. Like all who live, I have certain desires. But if you listen to me, I can erase your majesty's worries here and now. Worries? If I may borrow your army, I shall bring you the soul of the jewel thief. Do not attempt to fool me. I shall not allow an act that will ultimately cause the world's end. Then Odin shall continue to do as he pleases. How unfortunate, your majesty. Just what do you seek? Allow your dread army to appear in Arian for a short period of time. Say a sorcerer stole your majesty's eye and called the dead out. And after the Demon Lord dies, you shall punish us. Hmm. So you would throw your life away just to fight the Demon Lord? If I can only serve at your majesty's side, then I shall be content. Hmm. There are many among the dead who harbor ill will towards Odin. I ask to borrow those resentful souls. Way. Oh, Cornelius is quite a man to watch. I'm beginning to regret deceiving and cursing him. So it was you. How could you do something so evil? There's more to me than you realize. I escaped serving that old man, but I made you my scapegoat instead. And when he whipped you... I hid. I had to be repentant if I wanted to live. But I couldn't protect you. Ingwe. It's time. Live out your days in peace, sister. What? That devious woman. It appears she kept her promise and sent troops to attack. She believed my words, but if she sees my mystic power, she'll change her mind. If the Halia come this way, I shall easily be able to sneak in. I had heard that the Book of Transformation had disappeared from Titania. No, that can't be. Ah! Ingwe, wait!
Whoa, I'm not an enemy. I'm just a traveling salesman passing through. As long as you have cash, I don't care who you are. restaurant. My secret ingredient is sincerity. Do you have ingredients? I can make something tasty even with leftovers. Now then, what do you want to order? Very well. Leave it to me. Will that be all? Thank you very much.
Whoa, I'm not an enemy. I'm just a traveling salesman passing through. As long as you have cash, I don't care who you are. Restaurant. Call and I am at your service. I am honored you have summoned me again. I see you have a new recipe. Please allow me. Now then, what do you want to order? Very well, leave it to me. Will that be all?
touring restaurant. No building, no problem. Do you have ingredients? I can make something tasty, even with leftovers. Now then, what do you want to order? Very well, leave it to me. Sorry for the wait. Will that be all? for the wait. Will that be all? As you wish. Sorry for the wait. As you wish. Enjoy your meal. Is there anything else you want to order? Thank you very much. Disturbance. Is this your doing, Ingwei? I take it you can see through my disguise. None of my soldiers mask themselves. Twas a mistake, but... I didn't think this could be finished without using my trump card. Trump card? Ingwei! Velvet, tis you. Ingwei, please don't use that power. Ingwei, please! Why did you follow me? It was a mistake to let you keep that cipher. Now is the time to let you in on a secret. 
Velvet. It was me. I destroyed Valentine. What? Back then, if I hadn't known that this man was our father, if I didn't know his battle plans and know that he didn't stand a chance, I wouldn't have made the cauldron run amok. No, you... I didn't think it would cause such destruction. You were protected by the Cypher and escaped the curse and disaster. I was saved because I was hiding in the cauldron's shadow. I watched the kingdom fall into ruin before my very eyes. And I was spared, as you had intended. You talk as if you understand me. In order to save my father, I destroyed an entire kingdom. Can you imagine the pain I feel? I still remember what you said when you looked down at me. You did well, traitor. Now the cauldron is mine. There were other soldiers nearby. I could not call you my son. You don't remember, do you? You didn't care at all. Your eyes and heart were full of grief for the cauldron. No. Is that why you gave the ring to Elfaria? I'd rather the fairies have it than give it to you. That must hurt the Aesir. You... I will pay for my sins with my life. I shall be cursed, and I will die. If I am the only one who has to suffer my mother's curse, then so be it. Stop it, Ingwe! But I will take you and the cauldron to my grave with me. Try using your magic. If you think you can surpass the power of Darkova,
like. The transformation aborted. I couldn't finish the spell. Don't interfere, Velvet. Mother wished for my death. No! Listen to me, Ingwe! Don't worry about me. Go escape now! Back then, we were scared. Scared that our grandfather would kill us. So we swore in front of him. Swore that we didn't love our mother when she was standing right there. She was crying then. But she didn't cry from the pain. She was happy that we chose the path of life instead of death at his hands. She knew that she could not escape death. If we sided with her, we would have been killed also. That's not true. We had forsaken her. We didn't lift a finger to save her. That's why she cursed us before she died. Grandfather was hiding this. It's the second part of the memo she wrote to us. She writes of her love for both of us. That, that can't be true. I... I abandoned her. You're safe, Your Majesty. There they are! Kill them before they do more harm! Wait, those two are... What? It looks like this is the end for us, Ingwe. <clears throat> Over here! Hurry! Prince Cornelius. You must be wondering about Ingwe. He left his bed, and we haven't found him. But I'm certain he will appear again. Have you seen my father? He's badly injured, but he's run off. Master Croy? Oh, Princess Velvet, I finally have the answer. I, I, I have to tell you. Master, please rest. No, this is important. Listen to me. As the sorcerer said, the epic poems detail the path leading to the world's end. But it's not the path to becoming king. That path has been seen in our country's prophecies. This is the path that must be avoided. Master! Even if this interpretation is correct, the, the outcome is horrible. Two humans survive the end of the world. Princess Velvet, only two will be... Spared. Father! Master Croy. This scroll has the details. Please use the utmost care and try to avert the Armageddon. Perhaps that is your duty and your destiny.